Looney Farm Guy here and in this video we will look, we'll be looking at the two ridgers and two planters that are included in the premium expansion DLC on Farming Simulator 22 by Giant Software. These are for the new crops that are also included in the premium expansion DLC. Now, I have four of them here because they all four or two of each. We have two two ridgers which make these ridge patterns on the uh, ground texture and that serves a particular purpose which I will explain in a moment and then there's the two cedars or planters shall we say that are also included this these are the planters that will plant the carrots parsnips and red beets that uh, were added with the platinum or premium expansion DLC. Now, uh, this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console, but I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms. Why am I on Georgia Farms and not Zelenka? Because I wanted to see if this would work on a modded map. Uh, I, you know it's going to work on the Giants maps, but uh, I am here on a modded map. Um, to test this out because you might want to use this on your uh, favorite map which may not be a giant um, created map so we are here on the Georgia Farms map to demonstrate this and yes it does work by the way now what are these pieces of equipment where do we find them we find them under tools and vegetable technology that is a new category uh, included with the premium expansion DLC and we have these four pieces of equipment now we have a, um, a ridger and then we have a uh, two ridgers a one the first one it requires 160 horsepower three meters working width seven mile per hour the next one is uh, requires 270 horsepower six meter working width at seven miles per hour so let's take a look at this one because this one has you can either use it like this by itself or you can have a three-point link on the rear which you can attach the planter to which i will show so that adds another six grand to the cost but it could save you quite a bit of time um, and that's the only option there for that one the next one here is quite a bit wider double the width six meters um, everything's the well the, the working speed is seven miles per hour and you don't get any options this is what it is it has like a tiller on the front although it is not well we'll talk about this in a moment right oh and back in here now the planters special planter notice on the bottom now we have uh, 12,500 let's look at this one first 50 horsepower required 16 liter seed capacity 3 meters working width 6 miles per hour seeds go in uh, beets carrots and parsnips are what you can plant $12,500 as you can see here it is just as it is just like this right so there's a couple of interesting things about these cedars i'll talk about in a moment perhaps something for a future hmm, future mods i don't know the next one we're looking at is uh the double the width six meters so it matches up with the gf 800 the minor nova fold um 70 horsepower required 32 liter capacity for seeds six meter working width six mile per hour and same as the other one red beets carrots and parsnips and also no options here very nicely detailed i'm sure it is exactly uh, matches the real thing in real life i would expect nothing less now <clears throat> um how do you use, use these well that's a great question let's hop into our tractor here get our help window on and there is a couple of particular things you need to know about these. Now let's first hook up the ridger because you can use the ridger by itself. Now, in order to use this ridger, you must um, cultivate your ground with either a shallow, shallow cultivator, a, um, a heavy cultivator, or plowed um, because it is not... 
I would say not a direct drill but it is not a cultivator as I will show you over here on a uh, just a harvested piece of ground L1 and uh, you can fold and unfold that just lowers that three-point link you can use it without <clears throat> that three-point link it works the same either way excuse me had to clear my throat now if we turn it on you have to turn it on for it to operate and lower but notice it doesn't do anything here because even though it has a um, what looks like a cultivator unit on it you cannot use it on uncultivated ground so let's go back over here and as it is turned on we lower it down and as we drive forward it creates these ridges now notice it doesn't it only it only orients it doesn't have that angled look it'll only go either this way or this way so there's two ways the ridges appear basically north south east or west but it doesn't really matter um, so this is not a necessary operation but as I will explain further um, if you do this you basically will get a free uh, free fertilizer basically is the easiest way I can explain it now the fertilizer does not show up when you make the uh, the hill as I will uh, show you here up here so this is what I've done before here I am right here it does not show up right away on your map as being fertilized it is it is an interesting it is an interesting feature and it's uh, important to understand the process and I'm going to hook up the cedar or the planter shall I say this is the small one now the larger one um, basically works exactly the same as this does just it's just larger to fill up the seeds on the cedar L1 and um, left can open the cover just the teeny tiniest little cover that is very cute actually <clears throat> fill it up from a, um, a seed bag a big bag cedar refill 16 liter capacity or you can fill it up from a silo now once you have ridged it you don't have to ridge it this will plant on uh, cultivated ground as I will show you here lower it turn it on And you can plant your you can plant your crop whatever one you want however it is uh, it is unfertilized now the uh, the advantage to ridging your ground before you seed let's let's, let's um, switch up this no no that's not what I want to do uh, L1 and triangle uh, turn it off there we go select red beets let's plant uh, some parsnips just because <clears throat> so we have ridge soil as you can see here cultivated it will seed no problem we have a ridged hill here with no fertilizer yet as you drive forward turn it on and lower our cedar as we drive forward we are planting but it is adding fertilizer to it as we're going it's uh, oh sorry it's a little bit crowded here let me uh, let me get my big triangle out of the way oh um, it's hard to see but it is fertilizing now and you can see it's darker you can notice it by the darker color of the ground as you go forward so that so notice when you're planting it doesn't it doesn't smooth the ground it stays ridged but now it fertilizes it as well so that's the advantage of hilling before you're planting this it will fertilize the ground when you're planting so 
uh, now that you've uh, hopefully that is understandable and clear now <clears throat> as I said the larger ones work just the same uh, let's go into this and show you uh, and also the workers they no problems with the workers using it I used workers to do all of this now here is the larger one of the two L1 and X unfolds it you get it folded unfolds like thus we have lights lights and signals very nice so just like the smaller one this one turns on however it does not have the co oh I will show you the okay sorry uh, <clears throat> the feature with the smaller one I nearly forgot to show you you can link them together that's why that three-point link is on the back nearly forgot about that apologies so in order to attach them together you have to choose the option to have that rear three-point link and if you do it this way uh, this is the one advantage to the smaller one is now with them all linked let's go over to a clear patch it's still not a direct drill but now if you lower them they both lower turn them on and drive forward you are ridging planting and fertilizing all at once like so So you can have a worker go off and do his own thing doing that. Right, so. Lower this down. As you can see, you can ridge uh, twice, the, um, twice the width with this ridger. Again, you will not see the fertilizer appear until you go over it with the cedar. And I will just show you that briefly. We won't go through the whole explanation. Uh, the cedar has a uh, 30 35 liter capacity um, 32 liter capacity now that the seeds um, the seed rate is is quite it goes a long way shall we say and here we go l1 turn it on lower it uh, we can change it to carrots and as we go forward planting it too gives the fertilizer um, application when seeding when you are doing it on top of a ridged uh, ridged ground again you can use it to seed over non ridged if you want to skip the ridge but you don't get the fertilizer you don't get the fertilizer if you do that as I will show you just beside it here notice the darker color indicates that it is has fertilizer applied now I know some of you may want to wonder if precision farming works with this um, it is precision farming ready but it will work differently with precision farming I I do not have precision farming turned on at this point perhaps that will be for another I think an entirely other episode all by itself with precision farming and how this all works um, in conjunction with precision farming but that is the low down and the dirty with these four pieces of equipment hopefully that answers some questions and um, let's get that off there we go that is the basics of planting and fertilizing the uh, the new crops with these new pieces of equipment thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now